Have you seen these two different welding fixture designs? They are designed to be an adjustable fixture stop. This one uses a slot and a bolt to slide on the fixture table. But because of the table dimensions, you can only utilize one bolt when adjusting. This costs $160. Now here's the fireball fixture. It also slides, but has two bolts and locking teeth. It only costs $130. But what's the difference? Because there is only one bolt to hold this fixture down, it's easy to bump out of place and tough to get perfectly straight on the table. But with the fireball block, that second bolt makes all the difference. It stays straight and it's solid even when bumped. With the one bolt block, you have to line up the markings on the side when adjusting. That takes time and usually a measuring tool to be accurate. The fireball block is simple. The teeth lock into place in 1 8 inch or 1 16 inch steps. It's quick, easy, and super accurate. When clamping, the one bolt block can slide backward because the clamp is stronger than the bolt. But the fireball block doesn't slide at all. The teeth hold it tight. All right, time for the push test. We lined up three of the expensive blocks against one fireball tooth block with a loose pin. Then I tightened every one of the more expensive blocks. Then we used a hydraulic ram to apply equal pressure. This is going to simulate what happens when your welds push and pull, or when you have to push material hard up against the block to hold it in place. Which fixture will do better? The fireball block held firm. The others, they started sliding. Plus the fireball tooth block can be customized with extra parts like different size vertical risers, post pins, V blocks, clamps, and horizontal blocks. The other one? Nope. So for less money, the fireball tooth block is stronger, faster, does more, and is made right here in the USA. Which one would you pick?